Hi viewers, uh, my name is Dr. Salman Shafiq. I'm a consultant psychiatrist and um, I work for National Health Services in UK. I'm recording this video uh, to introduce my paper that is published in Global Psychiatry Archives. This is a systematic literature search aimed at finding uh, what information we can gather from medical literature um, about addressing hatred. As we know, um, hatred, uh, the word is used in so many different meanings. So we tried to find some um, systematic search through a criteria that uh, what information is available in articles that are available in um, the National Library of Medicine, uh, PubMed, uh, about um, addressing hatred. What we did was, um, uh, first of all, um, devise a criteria according to which we can identify the articles that talk about hatred. So as a part of that, we, um, we carried out literature search from 2015 onwards for all those articles that had words hate, hatred, hating or hateful in their title or abstracts. If either of um, these four words um, uh, were uh, in, in title or abstract, uh, these uh, studies uh, were included uh, till the date of data collection uh, that was um, in um, August uh, 2024. We found about 1,226 uh, studies that uh, talk uh, um, about hatred according to this uh, criteria. As a next step, what we did was uh, we uh, went through all the titles and abstracts of these 1,226 studies and divided them into certain categories. We found um, 10 categories in um, a total and the details of which are available in the uh, table itself, uh, sorry, in the, in the paper itself, and I'm not repeating that over here. So uh, we, uh, the aim uh, of categorization was to find that what is the main aim of the study? What does the study talk about? What is the study um, aiming at? Uh, what, in, what information it provides us? So uh, those studies that um, uh, fell into the uh, category of um, addressing hatred were included in this systematic review. We found in total 87 studies that, um, uh, that were talking about addressing hatred and, um, we, and again you can find the details of all of these studies um, in the tables that are included in the paper. The, there are two tables um, in the paper. Uh, one covers those studies that had an interventional or experimental uh, design and uh, we collected all the information that were uh, that was available in them about addressing hatred and uh, the other table is about studies that uh, were scholarly discussions or personal opinions of the researchers and they are categorized separately uh, in the other table. After um, uh, categorizing um, uh, and uh, getting these um, studies in order, uh, what we did was we went through the full text of um, these studies and we uh, collected information, we acquired information about addressing hatred from those studies and uh, again uh, this information is available in one of the columns in both tables. In order to um, make sense of uh, that information requ acquired from uh, those 87 studies, um, what we did uh, was we, we actually gave them um, a summarization command, then we gave them a code, and then we combined all codes under uh, one themes that were similar, like similar codes under one theme, and then those themes that were similar, they were combined under one meta theme. Technically, in um, qualitative studies, um, this method is called a thematic analysis. Um, and uh, after um, uh, carrying out this thematic analysis, uh, we uh, came up with three broader meta themes um, uh, that tell us um, how we can um, address hatred, according to the medical researchers. So in results sections, you will um, find uh, what those meta themes are. Uh, first of all, uh, the, the first meta theme is uh, that medical researchers are trying to uh, highlight that we need to appreciate different aspects of hatred. 
Hatred is um, not a single feeling. Uh, this word can be used in so many uh, 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 meanings, and uh, this uh, the same word is used to express uh, uh, so many manifestations uh, that we need to understand that what all those different uh, uh, manifestations and presentations are um, that are described with the same word hatred, but they are so so much different, and medical researchers are drawing uh, our attention towards that. There are so many aspects related to it, um, uh, and. Um, and they can affect the personal uh, person himself or others can have an impact in the society can affect uh, individuals governments and sometimes even um, in entire entire mankind it becomes an issue for an entire mankind especially recently this study covered the time period when we were exposed to covid-19 pandemic and nearly entire humanity was affected by it and there were emerging situations in which hate emerged and um, medical researchers are trying to highlight uh, that all these aspects all these different diverse manifestations um, uh, 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 require uh, our attention and uh, uh, they need to to be appreciated and that is the second meta theme um, in the study that uh, the medical researchers are trying to tell us about all these varied manifestations for example hatred um, can be manifest as uh, racism uh, or, or uh, it uh, or a religious hatred or online hatred or discrimination or even uh, self hatred in which um, uh, uh, people uh, develop um, uh, very intense um, negative feelings towards their own selves and uh, it can it can be to a degree that uh, uh, they they may destroy themselves they completely dehumanize themselves and it may result in uh, unfortunately suicide so the medical researchers are highlighting that we need to appreciate all these varied and diverse manifestations and presentations and try to get our head around them. The third emerging meta theme is um, and that of um, interventions that the medical researchers found useful. Again, you can find the detail of uh, this in the table under the third meta theme or um, sorry, in the paper uh, in the table or under the third meta theme, uh, heading third meta theme. Um, in short, um, the medical researchers have tried various methods and means um, to address hatred. For example, if I share one example, medical researchers have found um, psychotherapeutic approaches manage treatment uh, and management of depressive illness and uh, psychotherapeutic work um, to address um, self-hatred um, uh, through interventions um, that uh, indirectly then um, uh, reduce the incidence uh, of suicide and self-harm. So putting it uh, all together, uh, the medical researchers um, are uh, telling us uh, that we need to be aware um, that something needs our attention, hatred is there and it needs to be addressed and they are offering us uh, to understand various manifestations of it and uh, they offer us um, some interventions and suggestions through which we can address it. The details of um, all of them are present in the paper. Under the conclusion sec section I have uh, mentioned again that uh, hatred is so varied we need to understand each aspect and each manifestation individually and then try to find ways to address it. At um, uh, the psychotherapeutic and psychological level, the medical researchers seem to be suggesting um, that we need to transcend our core um, uh, selfish, selfish identities, um, our selfish um, agendas, and we need to connect with the core inner um, human self um, and uh, try and th that has the capacity to accept other people and uh, connect with other people so that um, humanization getting out of dehumanization and rehumanization um, of an individual is important uh, when it comes to uh, addressing hatred thanks um, very much for uh, listening to me and i wish you good luck uh, with uh, this read and i hope you enjoy it bye for now